I grew up in Yamcro Village, that's downtown, uh, off of Bay Street. I think that's one of the first projects they had. I lived in the big village, which crossed uh, across the water to Houlihan Bridge. Uh, the people of Port Wilm was uh, back during the Depression. There was no welfare. But the people of Port Wamba, through the churches, seen that everybody was taken care of. And that's the kind of time we were. My mother gave away, I don't know how many hundred dollars worth of groceries. <laughs> for Christmas, you know what I would get for Christmas? I would get a pair of jeans and a pair of roller skates. That's all I want. And I was happy. And all the kids got that. You know? Everybody was poor. But we had each other, and we had love, and we had respect. The important thing was everybody in the neighborhood, you had to respect them. I had to ride a bicycle all over Port Wilms to deliver them papers in time to get to school at 9 o'clock. And I also had to go to the, the man lived on the, the open and closed the bridge, the Houlihan Bridge, and I had to ride down there all over the big village, all over the little village, and all over the sawmill village delivering papers and get to school by nine o'clock. Well, uh, she wouldn't let me charge the preacher for a paper. I had to give the preacher a paper. And if a man lost his job, she'd tell me, you can't quit leaving him a paper. He needs that paper to find a job, see? So I had to give him a paper. We, we were taught like, you know, the gin mill and, and different things like that. But they just taught us we never came out to visit because during that time, it, everything was like segregated, you know. So we sort of like got the hand-me-down books and everything, but we learned out of them and everything. But we, you know, we know about it, but we didn't come out this way. In Port Rantworth, there was a, where you go down, Bonnet Bridge Road all the way to the river. There's a paper mill there now. There used to be an old plantation there, and, and when I was a kid, uh, there was an old, old plantation house that fell in. And we'd go there and uh, look around, and there was furniture and stuff in there. Well, I wish I'd got some of it, because there was old antique stuff now. But uh, that old, old plantation house had fell in. And then across the highway and across Gustine Creek, it's where Eli Whitney and spent his cotton gin. Well, the old building he invented the cotton gin in was still standing, but it was falling in, you know, but it was, but that's where he invented the cotton gin. Well, most the older people know the history. A lot of the young people don't know the history. Port Wentworth need a museum. Mm -hmm. 